five facts about energy poverty produced and created by Dr. Destiny Nock, funded in part by the National Science Foundation. Number one, there are multiple forms of energy poverty, and that stems from the distance from a person's ideal energy use. Let's assume the blue household can consume endless amounts of energy, the green has most of what they need, the brown households are experiencing economic-based energy poverty, meaning that they have some of what they need but can't afford more, and the purple is experiencing resource-based energy poverty, which means they have a huge energy deficit. Your definition of energy poverty stems from your distance from your ideal energy use, so the blue and the green would be considered not energy poor, the brown would be considered energy insecure and vulnerable, while the purple would be considered severely energy poor. Number two, energy poverty has multiple layers and underlying factors, and it stems from different questions. Like, do you have electricity in your home? If not, that's resource-based energy poverty. Is the supply of electricity reliable? Meaning, look, what number of outages do you have? And if you have a lot of outages, that is reliability-based energy poverty. Can you afford to keep your home at a safe and comfortable indoor temperature? Meaning that, do you have a high bill cost or are you experiencing unemployment? If so, this is affordability-based energy poverty. Have you ever been at risk of being disconnected by your energy provider? If so, then you are experiencing energy insecurity. And lastly, do you have negative health impacts from the consumption of energy? For example, do you live near a polluting power plant? Or are you burning trash in your home to stay warm? If so, this is environmental-based energy poverty. Energy poverty can bridge both the heating and electricity sector, and people can experience multiple types of these forms. Number three, energy poverty is a global issue. Four, resource-based energy poverty is greatest in developing countries. On this map, the darker the color, the more people without electricity access. And here, electricity access means that people can light and charge their phones. In 2016, almost 1 billion people did not have enough access to electricity to charge a phone for more than four hours per day. This presents many communication issues in developing countries. Nations need higher levels of electricity supply to support business operations, industrialization, and economic growth. In developed countries, energy poverty is often stemming from economic or insecurity concerns, and that brings us to our last fact, number five. In the U.S., we see that there were 128 million households in 2020. Now, one out of three of these households are reported to experience energy poverty um, throughout their yearly time frame. And now let's look at a few yearly statistics. In 2020, 1.9 million households were disconnected by their energy provider for non-payment. Also in 2020, approximately 4.7 million households could not pay an energy bill. Now this is not looking good because in 2015, 25 million households had to forego food and medicine to pay their energy bills. And one of the largest causes of some of these problems that we're seeing with lack of energy assistance is that the U.S. government does not recognize energy as a basic need at the time of recording this video. So are you looking for ways that you can support energy justice effort? Well, let's start with five places to start. First, you could support policies and politicians who create plans to remediate the hazardous and harmful impacts of the energy sector. Two, you can support minority-owned energy businesses and create opportunities for economic empowerment in communities that are most impacted by climate change. Three, you can support and expand programs like the Low Income Housing Energy Assistance Program, LAHEAP, and the Weatherization Assistance Program, WAP. Four, you can help spread the word about the multiple forms of energy poverty that you've seen in this video. And five, get educated. 
There is a lot of energy justice literature out there. Some scholars include Dr. Tony Reams, Dr. Shalanda Baker, Dr. Mi Jin Cha, Dr. Sean Le- Sonia Carley, Dr. Destiny Nuck, Dr. Manuel Pastor, and so many more. Can you find more facts about energy poverty? If so, please let us know in the comments because we would love to hear from you. Once again, this video was created by Dr. Destiny Nock and funded in part by the National Science Foundation. Thanks for listening.